After a recent strategic dialogue between Chinese and EU top diplomats, the U.S. wooed EU on the first U.S.-EU Trade and Technology Council TTC, meeting, in which, Curb China's Non-Market Trade Practices was raised. Before the meeting, the so-called China threat had already been used as the bait to attract EU, as U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo said on Tuesday that the U.S. needs to work with EU to slow China's innovation. The meeting, attended by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, and EU Trade Chief Valdis Dombrovskis, also agrees to deepen cooperation to strengthen semiconductor supply chain and to take a more unified approach to regulating big, global technology firms, Reuters reported. There are also experts who have pointed out that there is a growing lack of strategic trust between the US and Europe, beginning from Trump's erratic behavior to Biden's Afghanistan withdrawal and the snub of France in the AUK-US security pact. There is fierce competition between Europe and the US in both economic and technological fields. The EU wants to benefit from both sides, He Zhigao, a research fellow with the Institute of European Studies said on a Tuesday dialogue between Chinese State Councillor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi and Joseph Borrell, the EU's High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy. Wang said the two sides should strengthen coordination on the new round of high-level economic, trade and digital dialogue and continue to advance cooperation in science and technology innovation, finance and energy. Burrell said that the EU regards China as an important strategic partner and the relationship between the two countries as mature, multifaceted and non-confrontational non-confrontational, the Xinhua news agency reported. There is coordination between the US and Europe, but China is also coordinating with EU. It is a competition, Li Haidong, a professor from the Institute of International Relations of the China Foreign Affairs University, told the Global Times on Thursday. As long as the China-US relations are managed within the realm of competition and will not evolve into a military conflict, Europe will understand that there is benefits to be made between the two superpowers, which means it will be hard for the US to woo Europe, Li said.